sweet potatoes, sorghum, corn, canola. What do these crops have in common? They can be used to make motor fuel. That's right, what comes from these can fuel these. Ethanol and biodiesel, also known collectively as biofuels, are showing promise in helping our country become energy independent. We, we import a lot of our fuels from the Middle East and from other places that don't necessarily like us, so it's a, a very good idea to be able to, to make our own fuels here um, within our own state and, and, and make it from, from the crops that, that we grow. With corn and soybeans well established as crops for biofuel production, NC State University's College of Agriculture and Life Sciences is taking the lead in research that converts other types of crops like sweet potatoes and sorghum into ethanol and biodiesel. Considering the high cost of fueling farm equipment, farmers are coming on board to the new technology. Yeah, I think farmers are very interested. We're uh, starting to have workshops across the state just to kind of introduce the idea of biofuels, the types of crops involved, the production practices, the conversion technologies, and there's a lot of interest Farmer Harry Hart in eastern North Carolina is already thinking toward the future. The, the benefits uh, of biodiesel is actually what got me interested in it. Uh, we had an engine in the shop that I was working on and I was choking on the fumes and the fuel supplier just happened to show up to refuel, uh, refill our tanks and he had some biodiesel. And uh, he brought a little bit in and we poured it in this engine that I was tuning up and the performance of that engine was so significantly enhanced by running a 50-50 blend that it convinced me that I need to, to include biodiesel on the farm. One crop, canola, used in the production of biodiesel is showing a lot of promise. Canola is a, is a pretty interesting feedstock because in North Carolina you would grow it in the winter time so it doesn't compete with soybeans or corn. It would be kind of more like in a double crop system. And again, it's going to integrate. If you can grow soybeans, you can grow canola. It's the same production equipment, grain drills, combine harvest. So all that would be the same. One of the biggest problems to overcome is lack of mechanization for some promising crops causing higher labor costs. Farm equipment either does not exist or existing equipment has to be modified. But farmer ingenuity is overcoming the mechanization problem. Hart has modified his corn combine for canola. Because you know, the seed is small. It's about like a number eight bird shot. And, uh, but it, it wasn't too hard to get the combine to, to accept it and to separate it and uh, give us a good sample. Looking toward the future, many farmers are behind ethanol and biodiesel research and production. It, it, you know, biofuels is like a Band-Aid on a cut. Um, if, if, you, if you're bleeding bad enough, you want a Band-Aid. And, and all the biofuel we can produce won't replace the petroleum diesel, but it'll supplement it. It'll get us across the next 15 to 30 years that uh, we're going to see a, 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 lar a very large shortfall of energy production in the United States. And 